you with some beautiful people that we've got our pussy. We have got our pussy because we think it serves a night out from actually drinking some milk. So we're going to give it a jolly good dance. So look out for it on the dance floor later. Danny Rampling's on the decks right now. It's a really glam night. So let's go and check it out. Yeah. Well, I'm now here with Michael, one of the promoters of this fantastic club, Money Pennies. Now, it's been going quite a while. How long has it actually been, not like? Uh, well, Miss Money Pennies is a derivative of uh, Chop Chop. Um, we go back on a very, very small scale, probably 12 years ago. Um, Miss Money Pennies, in essence, has been going as Miss Money Pennies for some five and a half years. What's your name, dear? Harry. 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 I don't know what her name is. It's obviously very Harry. unusual. Oh, Harry. Oh, right. Like the Stephen King novel and Sorry. film. Oh, never mind. Well, I am now joined by the beautiful specimen of a man. Gosh, look at that. Do you work out? Yes, I do. Everyone, all every these day. people, all these hands, on this body, you look like every day. No, no, about three times a week. Three times a week? Yeah. Is that your life? No, no, I'm a fireman. Yeah. So what you do is dance to the air and I'm standing high, man. Yeah, they're paying me. So what's your name then? Libby. And are you going to take your jacket off? You just arrived. Whoop. Saucy little devil. The gingers are the naughtiest, obviously, aren't they? It's my birthday today. How old are you? 21 again. 35. How are you? Well, that's so good that she's still hitting the dance floor. Do you like my pussy cap? What is it? So what brings you down here? It's the sea. The sea? Yeah. Brings you here to yeah. Money Penny. Good I mean, about why are you here at Money Penny? Well, so you can just see, yeah. It's good. It's good. Keep talking. Talking So here we are on the door, and who have we found here but the door whore of them all? Yes, it is Chrissy, darling, isn't it? Oh, Colin, you're such a big knob that aren't you really <laughs> why miss money why have you called it that um, well it, it emanates from chuff chuff uh, uh, which is always a stylish party with yeah. you know a lot of clued up people and um when we when we decided to do a regular club it, ha it happened to be based on bond street and uh, oh, uh right. and the whole james bond thing yeah. linked up with it so you know we've, we're sort of we, with reverence to miss money penny who was really the driving force behind james bond miss wales are you miss wales can you do? Can you just tell? Did you do have to do an exception speech to say, oh, I love like um children and animals and all that sort of thing? No, no, it's about how much I love the world. Can do it now. Do it now. I do so much work for charity. I'm now here with Danny Rampling. You've just been on the decks. We're all right, Money Pennies tonight. Hello, it's always good here. It's always a sexy moment at Money Pennies. I adore it. Do you love it really oh, bad? Yes, I adore this kind of situation. It's healthy. It's very healthy. I mean, you're, you've been inside. You can see what the crowd are like there. They're, they're, it's a good it... mixed crowd, and they're, they're sex in the air. Is it, is it a better night for you because we're all glammed up looking good? It's just what money, money, money pennies represent. It's just the um, the productions that they put together and the crowd they attract. Yeah. That's so where are you going from here? I'm going to Golden in Stoke. How long have you been doing the door then? Seven years. Seven years. We was both chickens at the time, weren't we, Chuck? <laughs> and what's your name? Maxi Malone. Maxi Malone. Miss Maxi Malone. Miss. Miss. Porno. But we want to know what is the inspiration for your outfit? Is it Asterix? Are you Helga? No, this is African Voodoo Queen. This is, is the assimilation, if you watch Star Trek, this is the assimilation of the Borg. Three different species, a cow, an old drag queen, and an old star. I'm here, Colin, I'm here. This is the second floor of Muddy Penny. People are just milling around, chilling out, but they're all having a laugh, you know what I mean? They're all getting ready to go downstairs and have a boogie. I've just seen Ladies Lose, I'm going to go for a tiddle, see ya. Well, here we are on the main dance floor at the church in Birmingham. We finally found out getting completely lost in the one-way system as usual. We're not very good at being Lisa when it comes to directions, unfortunately. As you can see, very glam club. All the dancers look fit for frolic, they do. And it's packed already, and it's only about, like, 20 past 11. So that's good, isn't it? Let's go and talk to some food. There's a group of girls here that are going mental. You all all right? Yeah! Are you having a good time? Yeah! Will you stroke my pussy? Oh, I don't know about that. I'll oh, go on. Very clean. He loves that, you know. 
You don't. So. Gentle. It's just what? Gentle. Yeah. It's dead actually. It's not real. It's not real because it's all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's stuff for newspaper. But never mind. This is the clubbing train that gets you out of your brain, and yes, it's the clubbing show for those of you lot out there in the know. Now then, as you know, we've got a bit of an Italian feel this week. Yes, we have, because me and Colin, we had a pond doing a flyover to um, Italy, as you know. So because we do, we're going to play the Italian game. Now, what famous product is Italy used for? Obviously, spaghetti. So I've got three lovely contestants here. Adam, you all right, kid? Thanks. What about you, Stephen? Yeah, I'm all right. And Barry? I'm great. Are you ready to scram this spaghetti? Yeah. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Give me a cheer. <laughs> Come on. I actually made this spaghetti myself. And I actually like to. I put a bit of olive oil in it because we like it to be slippery. Yes, we do. So come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're useless. Come on. Are you feeling sick? You don't do right. Do you like stuff that's nice and slippery? You don't. You can't. You can't even speak. All right, stop because you're going to be sick. All right, now, as you know, also, right, Pavarotti is Italian. So, what I want these guys to do now for part two of this game is to stand up and sing Pavarotti style salamia, bye bye, black sheep. Come on, Adam. Up you get on the, on the stage. Go, Adam, go. Baba Black Sheep. Have you any wool? Oh, that's hey. Come on, Stephen. Come on, lad. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Baba Black Sheep. Brilliant. And what about, come on, Barry. You're not getting out of it. Up you get. Are you ready? Go. Baba Black Sheep. Lisa, Lisa, help me, help me. I've got a boner dancing between these two girls. I don't know what to do. The Kilburn National, an amazing venue, an unprecedented night here tonight. The first Knowledge Annual Drum and Bass Awards. All the stars are here, everybody's here. We've got an after party afterwards, all the record labels, all the DJs. We're going to go and see what it's saying. We are on to the heavyweight categories. Best label, nominations, Moving Shadow, Ram Recordings, and V. If you were to win an award for anything in the world, what would you win an award for? The most amount of peanuts in my mouth. There we go. Yeah, there you have it. And if you were to win an award, what award would you win? For anything in the world. For anything in the world. Wearing the baddest tune possible. Here I have Shy FX, uh, winner of best single there. Um, he beat a lot of stiff competition there. Are you happy to win that award? Yeah, of course I'm happy, man. You know what I mean? Shows that people appreciate the work. Hi, I'm DJ Cole Cox, and you're watching Train Spotters. Whatever you do, don't lay across the tracks. Just 